Hi there YouTube! Now, if you didn't know, this year, 2015, is the 70th anniversary of the Thomas & Friends franchise, and as such, I've decided to pick up some of the Thomas Wooden Railway celebratory items, because, funnily enough, a lot of the different series that are around um, aren't actually making a lot of items to celebrate this anniversary, which I've found kind of weird, but we'll talk about that later. So you can see in front of me that most of these have come out in Australia. So the first of all is these golden track pieces, and they I retail for $5. I got them for $5 from Toys R Us in Australia. Um, then there's this James, which is meant to be $25. This kind of engine is $25 in Australia, but I got it for $19 on special. And then there's this set here, which I couldn't actually find. It's not out in Australia yet, as far as I can tell. But I knew it was out in America, so I got this for Amazon, off Amazon for $35 Australian. Which, funnily enough, the American retail price is about $32. So, considering I bought this for, and then had to get it shipped to Australia, um, it was actually very reasonably priced, and about the same price that you would have paid for it if I bought it in store. Now, I didn't buy the uh, large starter set, because I think it was about $150 or something, and it didn't seem that impressive. But I do want to review these, because these are definitely the items you want to pick up, I think, in my opinion at least. Anyway, if you want to get into some of the Thomas Anniversary stuff. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go. weird to me. Um, it came out in late 2014. I didn't really understand what it was for, to be uh, brutally honest. Um, and it's just kind of packaged just like this, as you can see. It doesn't really have a lot of exciting stuff going on the label. Just generic kind of packaging. It just kind of hangs. It doesn't have a price on it. It's just got this, this uh, barcode. Um, and originally it was mixed in with the other Thomas franchise stuff. But when the new year came and these new items, celebration items started coming up, um, it moved in Toys R Us to kind of near the Chuggington section on the side of the aisle. Um, now, you're probably going, why would you buy this from Toys R Us? It's so expensive. Toys R Us is, I think, the only chain store in Australia that still regularly sells the Thomas & Friends merchandise. It has a lot of selection of Thomas stuff in general. It's got a lot of Trackmaster, a lot of Take and Play, and a lot of Wooden Thomas particularly, which is really hard to find at almost every other retailer. So that's the reason I bought these from Toys R Us, although they were on sale. Just I didn't spend a little bit extra and get them for a bit cheaper. Anyway, so here you can see what these track pieces look like. Now, they are really, really, really nice, I have to say. They've got, like, that gold shine is just... It's not a, it's not a super shiny gold. Um, it's a bit of a muted gold, but I think that makes it look really classy. It doesn't look cheap and tacky like some of the chrome gold can look. It's just a really natural finished gold. It looks really nice. It's got all your hallmarks of your classic wooden track. So you've got the moulded in sleepers, the little traction-y stuff for your battery-powered engines. And then if you turn it over, you've got the roadway. Now, um, I know I haven't bought any legitimate Thomas track for many, many years, probably since I was probably 10 years, to be honest, because I always my parents used to buy me the cheap Brio track because it was, well, cheaper. Um, now, you can see that I, apparently now Mattel doesn't actually paint the stripes in on the roads. Um, someone will have to confirm that for me. Obviously, this is a special piece, so I understand why they didn't do that. But I think it's very nice. Um, if you have a look, there's some little batch number thing here. Um, there you go. I don't know if that means anything to anyone. Let's see if they're all the same. Looks like they're all the same. Yeah, I think they're all the same. So that's, that's a, some kind of number. I don't know if all the track pieces have them or not. Feel free to let me know. Now, if you're going to try and pick up some of these special items, I definitely think if you're going to be displaying them, these pieces of track are the track to be going with because um, they will look really nice to display. So overall, I think these are quite nice. Or just, I just think the packaging was really lacking. I would have expected them maybe to be in a box um, or at least have the plastic sleeve say, like, you know, 70th anniversary golden track piece because I really didn't understand what these were for until I did a bit of research and having a look. I mean, you can see here, which I only just noticed just then, there's your uh, all-important licensing info, blah, blah, um, which is on them. But there you go. So that's those little pieces. They're not the most exciting part, but they are very, very nice. The next thing's obviously James. So let's get this open. Let's do a live unboxing. Again, I'm doing these like I did the Nano Speed reviews. I am doing these having not opened them, not looked at them before. Unlike... Um, um, other reviewers and other reviews that I've done, I, I'm trying to do things on the fly and show you guys so you really get a first impression. So I don't have time to think about what I'm saying about this stuff. It's literally what I say as it comes out. Oh, look at that Thomas, Thomas goodness. All right. 
just realized I didn't show you the packaging before I pulled it apart. Um, this packaging again, I think this packaging's lacking too. It says introducing James, but like this packaging you can see it's got that gold stamp. I feel like all of them should have that on there. I feel like this could have done something, a little thing saying like 7th anniversary or something to indicate that this is a special edition item because special edition items are the things that people are going to want to buy. All right, so let's take a look at James. On Origins James is what's got written underneath. So that would make me think that maybe this James um, was originally called Origins James and they changed the name because, yeah, that's a bit of a funny name. I like it. I think it's cool, but I don't know if it matches the franchise. Now, it's got the classic CGI-era wooden railway face, if we just try and get a look on, on that without the, too much lighting. It's, it's a really nice face. I like the James face. I think it matches the TV show very well, so I'm quite happy with that. He's got the splash of red along here for the buffer beam. Uh, which is really nice. Um, I don't know how many of the wooden railway engines have that, um, but I'm a real big fan of it. I don't think Thomas has got it, but I'm, I'm quite happy they did that. The black and the red looks really, really nice. The details on this guy are really, really crisp. They've done a good job. You've got things like even the his special James whistle, which kind of comes up out of his cabin roof, is painted on there. It just feels like a really premium model. The paint job is simple, but it's really effective. He's got very little plastic, only this front boiler section, firebox section with the face is plastic, the dome and everything else is all wood. He's got a decent amount of weight to him. He's got your classic plastic wheels and the nice magnet. So this is really, really nice. We come over and have a look at his tender. We've got Origins James Tender again. Again, it's just a really nice finish on these. They just look smart. They look cl like clever. They look just well done and like finished complete items. Um, I'm a big fan of the coal. When I had them, they didn't always have the coal in them, but I'm a big fan of the way they've done the coal in these now. Um, and again, it's just a really nice finishing item. And when you put it together, there you go, you can see the one-way magnets. It just looks really, really, really good. So I'm really impressed with this one. I think it's a really nice item. And definitely, if you're into collecting James's or Wooden Railway or the Thomas Anniversary stuff, you definitely want to be picking up this James. And obviously, last but certainly not least, is Thomas. Now, this is an interesting two-pack. First of all, because the way it's listed, it's listed as the Thomas Engine gift pack, rather than maybe like 70 years of Thomas. Um, it's got a really nice set out. You've got that same kid, but you've got him playing with it black and white with the old one with the old TV, and you've got the present one. So that's really nice. Um, interesting way of packaging it. Uh, this is all blank space. If you just open this up, Velcro is quite hard to get undone, it kind of came off here, but you've got some really interesting information, even a photo of the original Thomas, which I think is quite, quite cool, um, and a lot of information that isn't usually accompanied with this. Now, the first thing you're going to say is, but hang on, Dimmy, that's what that looks like. Yeah, yeah, that's that shiny gold, that shiny, shiny gold. Again, if you look on the back, that shiny, shiny, shiny gold, that's what's there, but then I... Uh, uh, Colors and decorations may vary. That's the get out of jail free clause from Mattel because if you look at this, you can see it's just a yellow speckled gold, which is that same yellow speckled gold that they use on the uh, gold Thomas Mini for the boiler on the wheels. Um, but I'll get to that in a second. So as you can see, straight away the box is really nice, really nice presenting of it. Um, a little bit unusual, but I just think it could have been named slightly. And here they are, the items that you've all been waiting for. Now, unlike some other reviewers, no offense to them, of course, but I'm going to put him out of the way just for a second, and let's just look at this. This is amazing. Uh, never, ever, ever, ever in my wildest imagination would I ever have thought that any toy company would be making a replica of the very first Thomas, and yet that is exactly what we've got from Mattel in the Thomas Wooden Railway in 2015. This item is just incredible. The amount of effort they've gone into to doing this blows me away. You're probably going, why? First of all, as you can see, he's called 19, Thomas 1942, so that's written under there. He's got a different size base. As you can see, if we put him up to your Thomas, he's got an extra long frame. So they really took into account the fact that this guy, you know, didn't have the proportions of the normal Thomas toy. The next thing is the wheel design is different. If you have a look at that, you can see that it's not your standard Thomas Wooden Railway wheel. It's actually meant to look like the little pins with the screw thingies on them that were in images of the original toy. So they've put in effort to make sure these wheels look like the original thing. 
The next thing is just the design. It's a really unique design, and I think they've captured just about all the important elements of the original one made by the Reverend. You've got the slopey thing, you've got the really big bunker, the cabin there with the little roof that was too big, the tall funnel, it's all there. Um, obviously they've added a face for the sake of making a Thomas toy, but I don't have a problem with that. I think it's a really happy, happy, classic Thomas face. Um, so I have no problems with them adding that on there. I think it works really well. Um, the original promo pictures had a red buffer beam on there, but I think it actually looks better without it because it makes it look a little bit more, more basic and original. Um, which brings me to the next thing. The paint on this is intentionally done so that it looks like it's been painted by hand. It doesn't look perfect. It's, see, it's got little, like, breaks in it. It's a bit wiggly, around, rough around the edges. It looks like it's been painted on with, like, a crayon or with a paintbrush. And that, I think, looks amazing. Because you can see that the lines here are quite, quite solid on the boiler, but the ones here on the water tanks are... look really, like, legit. And then you've even got these little details here, um of the domes and the whistles and whatever. There's very little plastic again used on this guy. There's the front face part, that, that little dome bit there is plastic, and actually this roof is plastic, um, but that doesn't particularly worry me, because uh, I can understand why they would have made a piece like that out of plastic so they can really get the bond they want. But this guy is really awesome, and like I would say that paying $35, even for this just this one, um, as an anniversary item, I can see it being... M like mostly reasonable, obviously probably still a little bit too expensive, like really, um, but it wouldn't have been crazy talk if they tried to price this guy at the price that they did. But no, they didn't. They gave us this other Thomas too. Now, this Thomas has its own merit. Sure, it doesn't have that uh, shiny gold, which would have been nice. I actually think that yellowy gold looks really nice on the wheels and the coupling. It just looks a bit, kind of a bit different and funny on the, the boiler here, but in saying that, once you look at the paint on this, you just realise how amazing it is. This isn't just an ordinary Thomas. You can see that it's a different shade of blue. It's like a lighter, kind of turquoise-y kind of blue, maybe aqua blue. I'm not sure which one of those is more appropriate. You can see that it's been washed so that you can still see the wood underneath, which I think looks really nice. The uh, painting on there, so the lines are all in, done in a shiny metallic paint. So you can see that there's the gold around the one, and the windows is shining. The red is a shining gold. Um, shining red, rather. The same on the other side. You've got a really, really nice paint job on this one. It just pops. And, of course, you've got your standard Thomas Wooden Railway detailing on there. To me, this is just a really, really nice rendition of Thomas. I think it looks cool. I mean, sure, it's not going to be... I don't think it belongs on a layout, but as a display piece, this is a really cool Thomas. I think they've done well in taking the... The standard now Thomas design, which I actually think is really, really quite good. I think the Wooden Railway Thomas um, is one of the better Wooden Railway items that they do in terms of connectedness to the TV series, and just one of the better Thomas and Friends merchandise lines at the moment. Um, but yeah, this Thomas of 2015 um, is a really nice display piece. I think it makes this two-part set really worth it. Um, yeah, to me, this two-part set is awesome. If you're a fan, even if you're not a fan so much of the James, which I wasn't actually going to get the James, but I saw the review and I was like, no. Then I saw the Revenge Adventure Begins and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to get it. Um, this two-pack is really, really awesome. I think it would have been really cool to have a three-pack and they could have done the the blue and the green and the this one as well, the green version, which we've seen in the Adventure Begins, but that's for Trackmaster to do, apparently. Anyway, so that's that. So we'll just get one final shot and I'll wrap up this quick review. Alrighty guys, now this is how I'm going to be displaying these guys when I find somewhere to put them. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep them here at home or if I'm going to take them to my apartment near the university that I go to. Um, but see, this is how you want to display these guys. The three in a row, all on that gold track, which looks amazing. Um, yeah. That's all I can say. All I can say is that these items from the Thomas Wooden Railway, which is, as now we know, all from Mattel um, for the 70th anniversary, are awesome. They're definitely worth picking up. Uh, they're some of the best Wooden Railway items I've seen in a long time, and I haven't actually had a lot of hand-to-hand -hand co contact with them, but watching reviews on YouTube, these are definitely something I'd recommend. The only issue I had, obviously, is that their labelling is a bit odd on the packaging. I don't know what the track was doing. Or well, James, I felt like, could have been made more of a deal of him being a special edition version. And obviously, the lack of availability of this set in Australia at the moment is kind of annoying. But that said, if you're an Australian viewer, which I have a few of, 
um, heading over to Amazon and getting it shipped by just the standard shipping cost me, yeah, $35 or something, which is about the Australian retail price when it comes here anyway. Um, and I had that arrive in a week. So I ordered it on the Sunday night and it came the next Thursday, I think, or the next Wednesday. Um, it was incredibly quick. Like, I was so impressed by how much, how cheap, but then how fast the Amazon shipping was. So I definitely recommend doing it like that. Don't bother paying the extra for the express shipping because you don't need it. But yeah, you let me know what you think about these sets. If you've picked any of them up, um, let me know. Let me know what you think. Are you going to pick any of this up? What kind of anniversary stuff are you getting from Thomas? I know a lot of people are really into the minis, which are also an anniversary item, which I think are amazing, and I can't wait to collect all 75 of those. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. Alrighty guys, if you've gotten this far, or even if you haven't gotten this far, if you watched any of it, um, thanks very much for watching. Make sure to do all those cool things you do on YouTube. And, as always, that's what we've got time for. This is Extreme Trains. <laughs>